Hello, for our Ignite presentation, we did the video game developer of Bethesda. The history of Bethesda, it was founded by Christopher Weaver in 1985 in Bethesda, Maryland. Christopher Weaver had a background in physics, mechanical engineering, and computer science. Uh, they then relocated in 1990 to Rockville, Maryland. Uh, they publish and develop cross-platform video games, and they have over 100 published video games as of uh, today of November uh, 2022. Bethesda Games acquired uh, was acquired by Xenix Max Media Inc. in 1990, uh, and then later acquired by Microsoft when Xenix Media Inc. was acquired by Microsoft. So in the hierarchy of things, Bethesda is now owned by Microsoft. Uh, their first game they ever developed was Gridiron. It was a the first competitive American football video game. Uh, Weaver was approached by one of his engineers, Ed Fletcher, with his work on the video game. Uh, Weaver said that it was incredibly boring. It wasn't dynamic. Uh, and it needed to be made more dynamic in order for it to be a uh, fun game. Uh, the, they needed to build a physics engine bound by the rules of football and then see what it looked like. Uh, because before, they were just using simple inputs and outputs, and it was doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, this is their logo. Their headquarters are located in Rockville, Maryland. It's about 20 miles north of Washington, D.C. That is their address. And they were originally founded in Bethesda. Uh, that is where they got their name. Uh, the CEO now is Todd Howard. He joined Bethesda in 1994. The first game that he worked on was Terminator Future Shock in 1995. He is now Bethesda's main spokesperson. Uh, he's a bit of a meme in the community. Uh, lots of memes are generated around him due to things he says often. Um, people say he is a lizard person. There's a lot of different jokes created around Todd Howard. Uh, their mission statement is, our mission statement is able, is to enable our world-class designers and developers to create games, the best and most immersive gaming experiences. Uh, game titles, their highest revenue game is Fallout Shelter. It's a mobile tycoon game. It can be played on desktop, but it is more known for its mobile counterpart. There is 170 million downloads and $100 million in revenue since 2022. They're known for a lot of other games, such as Doom, Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, and Fallout, which are all very prominent RPG titles. This is Fallout Shelter. As you can see, it's uh, a simple game where you basically upkeep a shelter. Um, and there are microtransactions built into this. You have to worry about things like energy, food, and water, and making sure that everyone in your shelter is happy. This is Doom. It's a shoot 'em up uh, game where you run around hell and kill demons. Uh, new games and current events that are coming. Uh, they have a new game coming out in 2023. It's called Starfield. It's an action RPG. It's a sci-fi setting. It was announced in e at E3 in 2018, so it's uh, been in the works for quite some time, and it's very exciting, and lots of people are very excited for it. It's a shoot 'em up in space. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Uh, you'll be able to fly around in ships and go to different planets and see the wonderful world that they created. Uh, as you can see, this is one of their ships. Uh, Bethesda Controversial Games and Decisions. Bethesda is at the head of lots of controversy within the game community. Uh, they've made a lot of decisions that are quite controversial. So Fallout 4 was quite controversial. Uh, and uh, Fallout 4 came out in November of 2015. And they were selling season passes for $30. Uh, and that was basically able was enabling gamers to get all of the DLC that would be released for Fallout 4. However, they then upped the price to $50 uh, and basically said, hey, we're going to be charging more because we are going to be creating more. And then they announced Creation Club, which allows people from the community, not necessarily Bethesda Games, to create mods for the game. Uh, and then they made a subscription for that as well. 
Uh, so you had to buy the DLC season pass as well as uh, the uh, creation club pass in order to get access to all of the content. They were then sued for false advertising in 2019. Uh, this was all the DLC that was supposed to be released uh, that you would get for the $30. Uh, Fallout 76 was quite controversial. The game was just absolutely broken at launch. Uh, they had an expensive pay-to-win uh, subscription service and a very toxic environment on their online platform. Uh, it was incredibly bad at launch, uh, and lots of people were not happy with Bethesda. Uh, it was probably known as their worst game launch yet. Uh, Doom has a high amount of controversy just because it was, you know, uh, a shoot 'em up in hell. Uh, so lots of people that had Christian background were not very uh, keen on seeing satanic imagery uh, and hellish imagery, uh, as well as uh, uh, the Columbine high school shooting. Uh, they were revealed to be fans of the game, um, and people thought that that made Doom made them violent and wanting to kill people at Columbine. Uh, this is Fallout 76 at the game, uh, like the game poster. Uh, Bethesda's game genres, they're mainly known for their RPGs, uh, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind, Fallout 3, Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim VR, Elder Scrolls Blades, Starfield, and more. Uh, they have other varying genres within their large history, uh, like sports, racing, puzzle, action, adventure, and strategy. So they're not just an RPG game studio. Uh, they have created other games. However, that's what they're best known for. Uh, in conclusion, Bethesda is a 36-year-old company that has worked on several classic RPGs that are known and loved by the gaming community. They started in Maryland by Christopher Weaver and then now under control of Tom Howard. Uh, they have been the center of quite a lot of controversy uh, and uh, they have new games coming out in the future, Starfield specifically in 2023. And that is Bethesda Game Studios. Thank you so much.